Welcome everyone. Today we're bringing you the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to sex and beauty. And joining us today is OBGYN Dr. Nita Landry. Welcome back. And beauty. I am ready for sex. Who isn't ready for sex and beauty? Yeah. Like, right? Well, and, and this first one is about beauty because we're talking about a new beauty tool. But can it highlight your hair up to seven shades in seconds with less damage? That's what the company behind these so-called blonde wand claims. So we're going to put that device to the test and reveal those results later in the show. But first, we're going to head over to the procedure room where our colleague dermatologist, Dr. Sonia Batra, is going to show us a procedure that may be music to some of your ears. Uh, Dr. Batra, this is a really cool procedure. Tell us about it. So I'm here with Judy, and she's showing us that just like the everywhere else on the skin, unfortunately, the earlobes also start to sag and lose some volume with time. So you can see here when she wears a little bit heavier earrings, <clears throat> there's a pull, and that's because we start to lose the volume there. So what we're going to do is a great procedure just to take a little bit of filler and prop up and restore that support structure and that platform so that she can wear her statement earrings. So Judy, I'm going to have you rest back, and we're going to take out the earring here. And Dr. Batra, sometimes mm -hmm. it's, it's just an issue of lines or wrinkles in the earlobes, too. Uh -huh. That's you true. Know? Other conditions, attached ears, pixie ears. Sometimes after a facelift, Dr. Batra, mm -hmm. the earlobes get, get changed and lose their volume. So, so everything you're doing there has, has multiple applications. It's absolutely true. And so people often ask me, just how can I prevent this from happening? And I say it's really the same as you would use your skincare on your face. Just extend it over here. This area also starts to sag and wrinkle in just the same way. But this is a great technique. What I'm doing is I'm just injecting a little bit of hyaluronic acid filler. And oftentimes people are seeing me for filler in general. So I just save a tiny drop and we'll use it just to prop this up so it gives her, you know, within minutes, a platform back for her statement earrings. And it also gives you a little extra support. And one other use for this, in addition to what you were saying, is sometimes when people's earlobes stretch and the, the piercing becomes elongated, you can actually even use this as a quick fix rather than surgery to bring that hole closer together so that she can wear her studs and her support. And Judy, how did that feel? I didn't feel anything. Perfect. I was actually a little nervous, <laughs> but right. I didn't feel anything. And this, so Dr. Botcher, this would be something that you would theoretically have to repeat to sit back once in. a year. How often would you have to repeat this? Exactly. Like so it? this would typically last for about 8 to 12 months. And the cost is about $400 and up. But that would be usually when we are doing filler elsewhere. We just save a drop and do this too. And so you can see her. I'm sort of molding it in real time. But now she has a little bit less sag and a little bit more support Judy, there. Judy, you've got the hot lobes. I know, right? I wasn't even. Wow, that is so amazing. I haven't been able to wear these earrings, and now I can. I love it. I think she likes it. And I think maybe that's the right. most important right. takeaway. Yeah. You know, there are certain earrings that women just love, no matter how much of a tug it pulls on those earlobes. So. Beauty you can potentially painful. save save the uh, earrings, right? So you could theoretically, Dr. Batra, after this procedure, mm -hmm. keep wearing earrings that before maybe you couldn't. Exactly. It's just Love statement that. earrings keep coming back into fashion. And Dr. Batra, <laughs> since you're here, um, once you're you're done, obviously with the procedure, you're going to come join us. I'd be happy to. Thank you. Thank you, Judy.